data types in Python. So in Python, you do not need to create a data type. First of all, data type defines what type of data you are using. So you can see here that this is basically a data which is in the format of a string. This is an integer format and this one is a flow format. So in Python, you do not need to write what type of format or what is the data type of a particular variable. So let's suppose we want to know what is the data type of a particular variable. We can use this type command and we can just provide inside it the data which will which we want to monitor right so uh, let's pre press let's run this so you can see here it displays str which says string so this means that it is a string so let's do it with some integer value you can see it integer similarly let's try it with some float value some decimal value and after running that you will be able to see that it is displaying that it is a float value right so now we are going to create some variables in python variables are uh, the just basically alphabets that or uh, that will hold some value and since we do not know what value they're going to hold that that's the main reason why we are calling it as a variable right so let's create a variable message and let's assign it some value so message is a variable and uh, you can notice that we're not mentioning any data type in front of it uh, in C++ or in Java, we will have to specify that this is a string, but in Python, you don't need to do that. So let's write a string here. Thinkx Academy. So this is a variable that holds this string and let's print this variable in the output screen. So you will be able to see Thinkx Academy in the output screen. So we have, uh, we now know how to create a variable in Python and how to display it in the output screen. So let's now work with some operators in Python. Python provides a lot of operators, uh, but here in this tutorial, we are just going to work with only few. So let's create two variables, A and B, which have values to and 10 so what i'm just going to do is i'm going to do some operations with these variables so let's divide b and a and so if you want to take out the exponentiation exponentiation of 2 raised to the power 3 you can do it like this you will have to use two asterisks so this basically means two raised to the power three which is two into two into two which is eight so let's perform one more which is a asterisk b which multiplies the two numbers and one more operator which is also known as the modulus operator and it is used to just find out the remainder after dividing numbers. so let's run the program and see the output so in first case you can see 5 is the output so b divided by a uh, is 5 2 raised to the power 3 is 8 so it is showing 8 and uh, 2 into 10 is equals to 20 and since um, b is completely divisible by a that's why it is showing the remainder as 0 here right so now let's move on to uh, other topic so first let me write uh, that it will give you the remainder of b divided by a 